Alright, so we're about to get underway. We're doing uh, James Fraser and uh, take number two. Okay. Testing, so I'm testing. Yep, you're good. Alright, I'm joined here round one with the uh, Cordero Spencer. Um right, James Raider starts off with uh Shadal Fusion with Hedgehog and Moral Tech looks running the artifact variant of Shadals. Yeah. Um still can't tell what Dalton's playing right now. I'll just fix these graphics. Hold on one sec. <laughs> there we go. So it's all fusion, and he is sending. What is he sending? <laughs> yeah, just gonna send the grabbing beast off of with the hedgehog, and after sending Falco with construct. Oh, the thing is one blast. I'm gonna bounce that construct back to extra deck. Yep. What's nice though is by grabbing that beast, he's he's doing the uh, the blind play. Whether like if he's playing against Shadals, you can brick their Shadal fusion with your uh, by like tribute sacking. James should still be okay though. Yeah, although right now, yeah, the wing blast ditching the Skarm is really good. Like he said, the two back row. Looked like he had a bandit yeah, in his hand. Uh, it should be up here. Ooh, mm. blind MST. Is T on the Sanctum. I'm gonna turn. And there's the tour guide. <coughs> you know Dante's coming up next. Yeah. The thing is the Falco can still grab the Hedgehog for another fusion. Um, so it's not like he's really out of the out of the woods for his uh, <laughs> uh his next play. No, Dalton should be fine. Let me Now he, now I do know he's running Burning Abyss. There's a solemn warning on the tour guide. He's not just not letting Dalton get any plays in at all. That's that trap card in his hand. Looks like it's Fire Leg. Fire Leg, yeah. I was about to say Marifor, but that's Fire Leg. Yeah, and that's the card that we've really seen. Like that can take over games, but not when he's like no, out of resources right now. And here he special summons the graph. He set that fire leg. Past. Yep. Yeah, that that's what's uh can be really devastating is having the fire leg alongside with the uh with the Dante. And once we've seen uh win a lot of matches, especially against like Cliff Wards when I had it. Uh last weekend in Seattle. Curse the alien Raleigh. Falco flip. So you can bring back the hedgehog here. I see. Second master. Is he going to fire a lake? Uh -huh. Oh, he needs one more. Oh yeah, you need two. Yeah, you need two. <laughs> I keep thinking it's one. <laughs> but it's still a better Icarus attack no matter what. Yeah. And he's a normal son of the Seer, so this turns his Fire Lake on, but... Not really in the best, like, position right now for him to use one. Tyler. Tyler. Oh, and here's Dante. a Dante. You can go see ring back to Skarm. Yep, that's what he's gonna do. See ring. 
for three, hitting Karma Cut. Torque guide. Second Torque guide and a Seer. Oh, I gotta find some energy. I don't know. I'm like I just got off work. So I like got no energy. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sluggish this morning. Ugh. Oh well. Dante's attacking. Uh, yeah, the set beast. This one is gonna discard. He discard artifact. More attack. Yeah. He needs uh, a Sadal fusion. Or yeah. Elsa Doll fusion. He can he can grab one off of that set hedgehog. <laughs> but uh and in response he can use the the fire lake. And disrupt and all the plays. Yeah. And just and make the uh, the Shadal fusion brick. He was waiting for the perfect time. I'm gonna post this. Yeah, so here's the hedgehog grabbing a Shadal fusion. There's the Falco split. I just want to see the fire lake. Yeah. I've been waiting patiently. <laughs> He's already activated them all already too. Um, I think he's just waiting for a fusion. Oh, James has to be thinking about that fire leg right now. And, yeah, there it is. There it is. Show me Benny. No, oh, there's the fire leg. Yeah. Show me Benny. He's looking Perfect nice time. too. Let's see, I hit all the shitalls. I would laugh if he had the materials in his hand, <laughs> but I doubt he has it. No. He has the beast, so at least be able to draw a card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, now I don't know what he's gonna do with the. Uh, he has no materials. There we go. Those are probably <laughs> evened up. And he does get to grab a card back with Dante. What did he grab back? Uh, I think he got. Oh, he got the Fire Lake. You didn't get no sleep, did you? Huh? No. <laughs> Bad noise. They should know my voice. No, it's when you adjust the mic. Oh. It gets a lot of static. I mean, his advantage is emptiness on, on the seer. But. I don't think that will matter once he hits that face down. <laughs> I can't remember what he grabbed. Um, that's just one. That's the one unknown that we. Was that a Skarm? Yeah, this is, this is Skarm's effect right now. I almost just grab a, the third seer right here. Um, Shout out to the judge, head judge Ozuku. Yeah, Zach Bishop is uh, taking a day off. <laughs> Somewhat. Is the assistant? He said Zach Bishop's taking a day off. <laughs> From being a head judge. Hi, Dan. <laughs> Yeah, let's see, right, he's gonna grab the seer. Um, it lets it gives him the best chance at running over a monster to deal with the uh, uh, deal with the vanities. Oh yeah, once they get rid of vanities, all the plays <coughs> are gonna start happening. Let's see, so he has fire lake seer. Compulse. Is that, is that a compulse set? Yeah. Okay. That's a fire lake, right? No, I don't. No, that's he, has, that. he has a fire lake in hand. I think you let this walk. He's gonna let it go. You have to let this walk. <coughs> He's 
a bad bluffer. <laughs> Who, James? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, he, he should already know that Dalton should already know he doesn't have anything to stop this hit. If he do, I'll be yeah. shocked. I mean, that's the thing now with like with the way this format is right now. No mm -hmm. one's really running like deep prison or mirror force. Or I still like play that. deep prison. That's you that. still play deep prison? That is a sinister shot. I, well, I, well, I play Yang things. Okay, how's that working out for you? Uh, it'd be nice to have three soul charges again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the deck is really interesting. We haven't really gotten a chance to see it on camera much. That's because it. If hasn't I would have really played with it more, I would have played. But Jim asked me to help out, so I'm helping out. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Even though I haven't played since 20k and Nets. Yeah. Oh, there's a Compose. Well, as long as you know the cards that you I think will be alright. I know all the cards. <laughs> only ones, uh, the only cards that confuse me are the Cliff Boards. Yeah. I, un I understand those two. Uh, the spaceships. That's all they are. Uh-huh. <laughs> like that one game from Super Nintendo. Remember that little shooting game with the spaceships? Yeah, and Galaga. Yeah, that. <laughs> You look bright in the picture. Hmm? Look like the picture got bright. Uh, yeah. Sometimes the camera will do an auto adjust if someone like knocks the table or something like that. So, take 16 direct. Only one face down card left. What do you think it is? Uh. El Shadal Fusion. Yeah. It's either El Shadal or a second, uh. Like a second Van Oh, it's the Sanctum. Oh, the Sanctum. So now you can get that third Moral Tech. His last one. He just popped the tuner. Yeah, blow up that I want to see Virgil. <laughs> uh, that does that does not need to happen right now. Riddle's really really good. Uh, I've I wanted to do Patrick this way because he's the first one up. I think he. I think Patrick won because the person yeah. that's playing him looks kind of mad, moving his hands <laughs> and stuff. Yeah, that's what you can do. <laughs> yeah, Patrick won. Too well. <laughs> yeah, he won too well. Yeah. <laughs> that is our. Oh, and here comes the soul charge out of James Fraser. Yeah, should all. This is still one of the few decks that can that can run this. It's a just um, a tech card now. Yeah. So you get soul back. charge for two three. Yeah, two moral techs and the Falco. So he goes twenty-four. Synchro into Michael. I would like Michael right here. Go Michael, go to 14. You're really yeah. low on life, but you can complete control of the board. That's still dangerous. Yeah. Michael pays a thousand, right? Mm-hmm. To remove a card yeah. from the field. Yeah, front of front. Well, vanish. Yeah, people forget about that card a lot just because uh, it does... Uh, it's almost like a generic vanish, like a generic mm -hmm. removal. Still a good card, regardless. Yeah. This is... Yeah, so the Mathematician. Math. This is 3,000. He just That's ditched a, a dragon. Yeah. Yeah, 42 plus 5. How big is Michael? Michael's 26. 26, yeah. Ooh, overlaying. Kind of Remember, he can't attack a soul charge. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I've been playing Cliff Words too much. I have never touched because that it, deck. Because it just feels like a soul charge every single turn. <laughs> Cliff Words reminds me of Dragon Rulers. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty explosive turn from uh from James. But can Dalton retaliate? That's the question. He has one card in hand. He looked like he blew all his resources already. Yeah. I mean, that's why it's worth it to well go to... Soul Charge Rip would have really saved James. Yep, and there you go. Scoops it up as we go to game, game number one. two. James Razor takes game one. Yeah, so I'm going to knock the face cam. Hang on one sec. <laughs> Let me go turn it up. You're not supposed to touch the cameras, but you can touch the cameras. And Joe almost fell, but you guys didn't see that. What are you guys talking about here, Critter? I haven't played since Nationals. Probably won't. Play. See, I'm not playing until I tell you guys right now. I'm not playing until January when we get the. Or is it February? January, February when we get the Secret Force packs. I'm saving up to buy all the Nikloths and those Hermit Yokai's. Those are the two decks I actually want to play competitive with. And if anybody agrees with me, say 44 in the stream. So I know you guys agree. Those are going to be two best decks. 
Alright, so now we can take and a look back. at... Any uh, spell. I know, hey. <laughs> now I can take a look at James Frazier's beautiful face. Yeah. Yeah, and Don's beautiful face. Um, yeah. So, shout out, guys. Uh, Don Buckrove, he, uh... uh really oh, good yeah, nice hey. backstory on this guy. What's the backstory? Um, just went through chemotherapy not too long ago. This I think Dalton, it just right? this, this is Dalton. This is past year he was able to uh, finally beat cancer. Um, really impressive. Uh, coming from that guy so young. It's a How old is he? Uh, I don't know. Like I, 13, gotta, 14. I know. I gotta get age. It's a shame to see that happen. But glad that yeah. he beat it. That he beat it. So That's what we do have? To get it. We do have these T-shirts um, that we're going to be selling at our event. They say "Win It for Dalton" with the uh, with the cancer ribbon. Um, 100% of the proceeds from the, these t-shirt sales are going to go help uh, cancer research so we can help people like uh, like Dalton beat cancer. I know. Mm -hmm. it's One of our judges has had cancer. Yeah. Can cancer touches a lot of people. Um, I just lost my aunt this past year to breast cancer. And oh my god. Yeah. So it's it's always nice to see someone able to, to like go through it and and beat out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah, we'll show you guys those uh those uh those shirts uh, I might model a break. shirt later yeah <laughs> uh, did you see the new this new stream icon stream emoticons that we had I'm not one yeah we have hope in space and some of the other ones now too who's the other one there uh Bowden is on one too that doesn't surprise me <laughs> Bowden has one uh Jackie has one well that's so a surprise didn't, didn't she be Patrick two times already yes I'm mad they didn't come yeah. Yeah, she is the uh she is like Hoban's kryptonite. <laughs> Never be. I don't know how. Frazier. Oh uh, yeah. ARD Frazier. They need an HBIC one, that's what they need. Yeah. ARD Frazier. ARD Dollar is not even here. I think he's judging the regional today. Yeah, he's pro he's probably judging the Philly regional. Mm -hmm. So I haven't judged in the whole year. <laughs> it's actually going to be two years now. I took a break. Yeah. You should focus on your channel. Want to plug your channel? I'm playing Pokemon. Yeah, you can, I got Smash Brothers here, too. Yeah. You want to plug your YouTube channel real quick? You can do this. You're the one typing. Yeah, sure. YouTube.com. You know how to spell Mexicus, right? Yes. 4666. Now, if other people have their Smash game, I will stream the Smash that I brought my capture devices, too, for the ARG stuff okay, on half time. Because all these people think they're really good in Smash Brothers. So we can set up with Smash later? Mm -hmm. You got yours? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, we can play that. I'll take right here. And I can stream it on my. I can <laughs> set it. See, I knew, it was, I knew it was February. Yeah. Friday right the 13th. Yes, the new Necroz. It's that kind of sense. like this pseudo hidden arsenal. Mm -hmm. um, there are three archetypes. The only one I know is the Necroz because that's the one with all, the, all the, yo the Hermit Yokais. I like them. They bounce a lot. They bounce the back on Enphase. The Necrozer ones are obviously the, the coolest because it's like you get to play with broken cards again. And that's, you already know they're not going to limit uh, Preparation of Rice because it's in that set. Yeah, so that's the Preparation of Rice right reprint that everyone was looking for. I, I had my three since day one. I never got rid of them. Um, First edition. Okay. They're still not done fighting. I know. Dalton needs to hurry up a little bit. Um, Where's the judge at? Although he is allotted his, uh, his full three minutes to side deck. <laughs> Three minutes. It's been more like four. Yeah, yeah he'll be all right. Let me reset these light, this life totals here for you guys. Oh, that's next. That's Friday the thirteenth. Yeah, man. I like that day. The Necroz. Mm -hmm. That's not bad. It's interesting. And we also get a new TCG support card exclusive in the next set, Secrets of Eternity. So I think it's going to help any type of ritual deck. Don't quote that. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, doing that. They just, they just yet. said ritual support. Mm -hmm. Okay. So it was all Mac. You all Mac was in the claw. Yeah. And TCG exclusive, so you know it's gonna be broken. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the thing. I I don't know. Some people don't like. They like the OCG ban list and stuff like that. Um, I just want Trishula and Mac. Access to getting the set sooner, but we get all the broken cards. Yeah. We I mean, know like all of the. Uh, oh, we're never getting Trishula back. <laughs> Don't say that. <laughs> we're never getting that I card back. I wouldn't mind back, but then again, we're going to have a ritual for it, so I don't yeah. even want it. Uh, I miss I miss the days of like of uh, going into Trishula with like plants. Those were the good uh, days. I miss that. I, I, I miss that deck so much. You got people playing goat control too today. I've been seeing around. Yeah, I have my goats on me. You got two decks? No. I left Let's my goat control at home. I'll borrow Patrick's. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, bring goats wherever you wherever you go. Alright, we're getting started with Here game number two. <laughs> Dalton starting off. Uh I'd assume so. It's always nice to go first. Um, he got Phoenix Wind Blast with his hand. Phoenix Wing, Karma Cut. That's all I saw. Phoenix Wing, Karma Cut, Vanity's Vanity Fiend. Vanity. I think that's a Rubik. I think he said in Rubik. No, he's a special summon. A special summon the Rubik. Yeah. And Scar. Scar blue. <laughs> and there's a flying C. Ooh. Flying C, you cannot do no C summon. You can still synchro, right? Or you can't do nothing. Uh, you can't X Y Z summon. You can still synchro, but because it's a non burning abyss monster, those are gonna die. So it is kryptonite to that deck. At the least, he does have the out with uh, with the Vanity's Fiend in mm -hmm. his hand to get rid of it. But it it just breaks up that whole play, so he's unable to go for the Virgil plus the search. And I can't believe he drew that out of his five cards. <laughs> Hey, sometimes you have to. That's half the reason you open you side deck cards like these is just to be able to open. I it. bet you money he's only siding two though. That's pretty lucky. <laughs> yeah. Decent part of this game that is hard. That, that whole flying seed might interrupt the whole match now, to an extent. Yeah, we can clear it next turn. Um, he's probably gonna set the wing blast. <laughs> you know what? I'm surprised I haven't seen Bowden post yet. I'm surprised too. Yeah, I don't know where he's at. Even right though now. I've been kicking everybody off, but they have been powers they'd be getting. <laughs> they need to be secretly doing that. Oh, that's you. Okay. <laughs> don't forget, I have a master password for this too. I be on both yeah. of them. Because Zach be yeah. telling me they'll get rid of the one, some of them, not all of them. And here is an artifact ignition. Uh oh. He gonna pop the karma cut. Yeah, I think you just let you gotta. I don't know why he's thinking. You just let that walk. Is he actually thinking about karma cutting? <laughs> yeah, no. There's no reason to. Uh -uh. Unless he wanted that flying C off. But no, wait. Doesn't karma cut only do the opponent's field? Yes. It's only opponents. <laughs> the only thing I don't like about... Uh, Flying C is because as soon as oh, <laughs> uh oh, this has monster sets for um. I think this is over already. Yeah, you don't want to um, you don't want to clear it. Mm -hmm. Not until you're ready. Field, but uh, but yeah, like like you said, he does have the vanity fiend, um, so he can uh, get rid of the flying C. He also has a tour guide, Phoenix Wing, and Nazi has in hand. Well, he has everything. I think you said you have to be off to go for the. He's gonna have to, and I guarantee right he'll get bottomless or warning once it hits the field. Yeah, I'm calling it right now. now. <laughs> Four face downs. <laughs> oh yeah, everybody's waiting for the hero deck. Like January thirtieth. That's the him for uh, ARG states, which is going to be February seventh. <laughs> Everything so, will be legal. Yeah, we have 10 locations so far. Um, one in Puerto Rico and uh, uh, Toronto. And I will make sure you guys will see all the deck lists for that when, that, when, the, when those regionals are that weekend. Don't mm -hmm. worry. Good. Now, let's see. Vanity's Fiend. Show me the bottom list. Show me the bottom list. Yep. Show me the warning. I don't think he has oh, it. Oh, wow. He doesn't have anything? You better. And this is the... I'm is disappointed. He's not going to swing? Now I want to know what those face down cards are. I think you have to swing there. I would have swung. I think one of those face downs is the emptiness. Because if it's a Squamato or a Dragon, he's he's going to flip it in on, on his own turn anyway. Mm -hmm. Ooh, five face downs. But should always have such a hard time clearing a card like this. They can't really get rid of it. I dare him um, to attack. Oh, they think it's Dalton Bowsman. It's not Dalton Bowsman. Yeah, it's not Dalton Bowsman. It's a different Dalton. Yes. This is a different Dalton, guys. He just beat cancer for the people that are just joining us. Yep. We beat cancer not too long ago, and like I said, we're going to be selling shirts. Said win it, for, say win it for Dalton on it, and uh, 
Oh yeah, have you mentioned anything about the Black Friday sales and Cyber Monday sales? Oh uh, yeah, we have Black Friday sales and this all throughout this weekend. Make sure to check the fan Cyber page. Monday. Yeah, check the fan page for some of the other deals or check the website, ultrarealitygames.com. We got a lot of uh, for sale, um, including sing single sealed product, accessories, like all that. And he's sending that hedgehog so he can grab the squamata so he's able to actually search it, uh, to grab an out for this vanity's fiend. Okay, so he's able to grab the uh, the squamata with uh, with hedgehog and uh, now he's finally attacking the bending fan. Yeah, into the squamata. That took long enough. <laughs> yeah, so I mean he knows it was gonna happen. So that's gonna go to the grave. Okay, here comes the artifact sanctum. Everybody saying hi to me. Yeah. Oh, someone took advantage of the thing. Good thing. Sure, you got to be Stop sniffing. You got the cold. Yeah, I do. Section 33 player. Kyle Smartly. Kyle Smartly. Come to the front, please. He's gonna grab the the beagle tuck here. <laughs> and this beagle tuck is gonna be able to trigger that morale tuck. The effects. And Cordero is being mobbed by people, of course. Just tanking really hard right now uh, on this tour guide search. And grabs a scarm. It's gonna blow away the uh, the scarm. Yeah, James is still in a commanding board presence even after uh, having to deal with the Vanity's Fiend. Uh, wasn't the best time for him to drop one actually after getting locked with the uh, locked down with the the flying seal turn one.
Dalton does take his time uh, on his plays. Yeah, I'm gonna use that one. Uh, I should have a, another wing blast side. Let's see what <laughs> Lester Carmen got. Atron's gonna end. He's gonna grab uh, this Carm search here. I'm gonna grab. He's going to grab uh, another tour guide. Yeah, dropping the fiend and not get dropping the fiend a little bit later, not getting aggressive sooner. Um, he missed one attack um, that he could have done. Um, like he even could have used the wing glass and spin. But here we have a mathematician. He has a couple options here. You can send um, Dragon and clear that back row, although it's most likely a chainable. Um, I should go for the beast here. Oh, it's with Falco. Beagle Tech's gonna run over for 400 damage. game here with the uh, El Shadal fusion. It goes to 55 after the, the Moral tag. Like, hey, does he have a second Shadal fusion? It's a really aggressive line. Yes, here comes the contract, so now he can force out the dragon again. It's a chain light. Or you can just go for the beast and draw more cards. There's that wing blast on the construct. Okay, what did I miss when I was gone? Okay, still game one. I mean, game two. It's still game two. I didn't miss much. Yeah. Tim's going for extra damage with the Nel Shadal fusion. But it gets spun by a wing blast. So there's two more back row. So Dalton tanking in, in there. Turn. Here comes that tour guide. It's like I don't like grabbing the tour guide there just because it's so vulnerable to a, an emptiness, but luckily James doesn't have one. Yeah. Just one. Oh, and he discarded a Raigeki with that Phoenix Wing. 
for the people that's been asking me, messaging me on Facebook. Yes, Justin Jones did win round one. What deck is he playing? I think it's Burning Abyss. I forgot to ask him. Is Bo Blue even watching? No, I don't think so. That's a first. I know. Oh well. Here's Artifact Sanctum. Should be his second one. Okay. Yeah, blow away the graph. Now he's gonna search. You know, I just realized Trevor's not here. Mm-hmm. Couldn't make it? No. Is this he all his setup? What is ARG setup? This is AR uh, oh, this us, is us, all Trevor's stuff. Us and Air, His and, and ARG's. Oh, I was just about to say. Yeah, he should be at Atlanta, though. Or not Atlanta. Um, uh, He will be at Orlando, that's what I'm going to say. Oh, yeah, in January? Yep. I might be at that. Yeah. We going to see you at Atlanta? I want to go to Disney. <laughs> Yeah, I guess if you come for a couple days, it's really hard to see Disney World in one day. Tell me about it. I haven't been to Disney since I was a kid. Grab this here, grab this Garm. I it's pretty much out of options, though. What's the what's the mystery card in his hand? Do we know what it is? It needs to be a Wing Blast or a Karma Cut, or he's just dead, on, or he's just dead next turn. Well, he can't bluff that card. Did Michael Brown win game round one? I can find out in a minute. There's a uh, an Alec. I don't really think there's anything he can do right mm -hmm. now. James is just too commanding of a board. Pre uh, of a board. There's nothing he can do with that tour guide. Yeah. It's just that Sanctum really did it. Yeah. Okay, that's a Shadal monster in his hand. It looks like he had Hedgehog in his hand. I think he's about to concede. Yeah. That's Dalton. It's not Dalton Bowsman, as you can clearly see. Yeah. <laughs> Keep knocking that camera. Uh -huh. So this is the scar during the end of the turn. Yeah, that is true. Shadal's win condition is mathematician. Yeah, the card In this situation, it's more attack. Yeah, that's the thing that has been so good. He has a seer, but all I really need this is 42, 57 damage on board. There's a BLS. <laughs> did he just rip that? Yeah, he did. And there you go. That card is going away. Yeah, the super poly. <laughs> wow.